There's a killer in the water off the northern California coast, and it's not a shark. KPX finds Don Ford on the disastrous domino effect causing one ocean species to explode at the expense of many others. Despite the unrivaled beauty of the California coastline, UC Davis scientists here say that just below the surface, the famous kelp bed forest is in serious trouble. They wave majestically under the water, supplying a critical link to the ocean ecosystem. Dr. Laura Rogers Bennett has studied the kelp for more than 20 years. What we're seeing here in Northern California is this huge decline in the kelp forest. And the kelp forest really is much like the trees on land. They're the homes and food for all kinds of marine organisms. She says climate change in the form of warmer water has allowed several factors to hurt the kelp, but mainly it's these little purple urchins that have decimated the kelp, eating everything in sight, similar to goats eating hills barren. It's more difficult for people to visualize True. if they're not divers, but we're seeing 90% of the kelp from San Francisco into southern Oregon has declined. That impacts other species too, such as the abalone that eat kelp. The decline is affecting the fishing industry as well, and that may affect what you buy at the store. Well, this is a severe disturbance of the coastal ecosystem. It's unquestionably driven by warm ocean temperatures, and this is as predicted. UC Davis Marine Lab is exploring ways to reduce the purple sea urchin, but so far they haven't had much success. Dr. Rogers Bennett says her data indicates there is more warm water coming. It's very similar to heat waves on land. So we're going to be in climate change. Uh, we're going to be looking at the increase of the intensity and the frequency of marine heat waves. In Bodega Bay, Don Ford, KPIX5.